Hi there, this is Marhadad here again. So I have to do now a new video and in this video I have to discuss about how, for example, if you are providing internet service uh, or you are configuring the marketing router for your customer and uh, you are sharing the internet service uh, that you are getting from the ISP from the marketing to your customer. So how you can, for example, say that I would like that those devices to be connected uh, wirelessly and any, if in case any other device comes to connect uh, to that uh, MicroTik router on wireless, then they are not allowed. So that's something that uh, I have seen it a lot, that uh, people are struggling, especially in countries where the internet service is not very fast, where the internet is very slow. So say that uh, they got a service of something like two megabit per second on download and one megabit on upload. And uh, then uh, this is uh, installed uh, and provided to a company then uh, the IT manager will provide the uh, Wi-Fi uh, password to the uh, people who are working in that uh, company to be able to connect to the wireless. But then what happens is that those guys or those employees, they also share the Wi-Fi password to many other people. So at the end, a lot of people will be connecting to that uh, internet on the wireless, even though that some people, they should not really be connected. So they don't uh, work. Maybe they are uh, like neighbors or whatever. So then in this case, the people who should do the work, they are not able to do the work because the bandwidth is very, very small. And a lot of people are connected at the same time. And you know, these days you have the you have YouTube, you have TikTok, you have uh, downloading big files and so forth. So then in this case, a lot of people will be struggling to not have good internet connection. So what you can do in this case, you can just uh, provide the, the, uh, or the internet via the wireless to uh, your customer or if you are working in a company you just provide it to your colleagues in the company and you tell them connect now to the wireless so once they are connected to the wireless you know which devices are the devices that should be connected to the uh, wireless then what you can do you can just uh, uh, whitelist those devices on microtech say that those devices in case they want to connect to the wireless allow them and then you can say any else anyone else who want to connect to the wireless do not allow them so in this way, you, what you can do, you can secure that those devices that should be connected to the internet that are always connected. And in case there is any other device, like a neighbor or like a friend coming to the office or whatever, they want to connect to the internet via the wireless, they are not able to be connected. And this will solve a lot of problems for a lot of uh, and companies where you see that they don't have a very big uh, internet pipe. So uh, in this case, you can limit who uh, should be connected to the internet. And uh, then in this case, the problem would be solved. So in uh, this video, I'm going to show you a lab. Then I'm going to configure the wireless on the MicroTik router. I'm going to uh, see that uh, once I connect to that wireless from one phone, then I will say, OK, that phone is allowed to be connected to the wireless. So I whitelist it. And then I will say that anyone else who uh, want to connect to the wireless is not allowed anymore. Then I will try from another phone to connect to the same wireless and we will see that it's not going to work while the first phone, which is whitelisted, is still able to go to the internet. So if you are ready, let's go directly and start with the lab. So this is uh, my MicroTik router. At this moment, this MicroTik router is connected to the internet. And if you want, you can just try to ping, you see if you ping to a.a.8 .a .8, or if you want also to ping to google.com to see that the DNS is also working, you see that this router is connected to the internet. Very good. So now I'm installing this wireless uh, uh, router or this MicroTik router, I'm installing it to a customer. So let's start configuring the wireless. Of course, these steps you should know about it, but if not, this is a review how you can do it. So first thing is that I want to enable the wireless. Here we have the 2.4 and I have the 5 gigahertz. I will go, yeah, let's go to the 2.4. So uh, um, this is the wireless. Uh, I will enable it first and then I'm going to make a uh, profile. So it's like a security. Let's say that I'm going to use the dynamic keys. WPA2 uh, PSK should be here. And I'm going to put the password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is the password for the wireless. So it's called profile one. I go to the Wi-Fi interfaces, WLAN one, which is the 2.4 gigahertz. First, I have to put the mod AP bridge. 
and I'm going to use the 2 GHz only air. So n is the fastest one, so I'm going to use that one. And now let's uh, make some um, here scan for the frequencies to see which frequency shall I use where I am now, which is a frequency less used than others. So you can see we have the 2472, I think, or 2462. Let's take this one, 2472, it has less usage. So I will take that one. It's already there, 2472. I will leave the SSID my critic. And uh, let's put the uh, profile one as the security. All right, so that's what I need to, to do from here. And I would say, okay, here. Now, what I need to do is just to put an IP address for that WLAN. So IP address. I will take the IP 192.168. For example, let's take it to 10.1 slash 24. So this is an IP on the WLAN one. It's important to put an IP on it because this is going to be the gateway for the users who are going to connect to that wireless. Very good. So now what I need to do is to make the DHCP server. So anyone connecting to the wireless. You will receive an IP address, and that's what is the DHCP server. So we click on DHCP setup on WLAN. This is the other space that's correct. This is the gateway, which is WLAN one IP correct. So it's gonna give IP from TOT2 to till 254 is also correct. These are the DNS fine. All right, and the last thing that we need to do is to make the NAT. So anyone who wants to go to the internet, then his local IP, which is 192.10. something, will be NATed to be able to go to the internet. So that's the last step. IP firewall NAT. And over here I have to say source NAT, the chain, anything coming from 192.168.10.0 slash 24. And going out the interface. So my one interface, uh, it is bridge one where uh, the interface Ethernet 1 is inside of it. If you want, you can see this is the bridge. This is Ethernet 1 where my WAN is. So uh, the uh, um, Ethernet 1 is inside bridge 1. So that's why I have selected here the out interface bridge 1. Action is to masquerade. Very good. So now, believe it or not, I should be able now to have Internet. So let's uh, go to my phone now and try to connect to the uh, the uh, MicroTik SSID. So now, after we do that work, we can say to our colleagues at work or our customer, please connect your devices that should be connected to the internet. So you tell them, just connect to the wireless, you give them the password, and then they get connected to the internet. After they do that, we have to see what are the steps that you need to do. So you allow only those devices to be able to stay connected to the internet and any other device will not be able to join the wireless anymore. So let's now go to the phone and connect to the internet. So I'm on my phone now and uh, let's open the phone. So you can see, um, this is, uh, you see this is SSID called MicroTik. So I will click on it and I'll put the password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I will say connect. And you will see I'm connected to the internet. And if you want now, we can have a look if we have ping to the internet. So ping to a.a.a.a. .a 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 .a. So my phone is now able to go to the internet. Say that at this moment, we waited and uh, all the people have connected their phones, their uh, uh, whatever, uh, tablets, their uh, computers to the wireless. So then everybody said, we are done. Now, what you need to do, you have to whitelist only those devices that should stay connected to the internet. How to do that? So we go to wireless. First, let's have a look inside the registration. You can see that this is my phone, which is the one connected to the internet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just add this phone. Actually, if you have a list of phones or, or list of any device, you just select all of them and you just make here copy to access list. Then you will see that it's going to be inside the access. Let, let me just make it uh, one more time. So because I had it from uh, last time, so I would like to get connected again to the MicroTik from my phone. All right. So again, now I'm connected to, uh, we only have this phone. So now this phone is showing up over here 
all I need to do is just to make here copy to access list. Once you do that, then you come to the access list over here and uh, be sure that this authentication is checked. Once it is authentication is checked, that means the phone, which is this phone, can get authenticated to the wireless. So at this moment, you will have the list of all the devices inside the access list after you copy them from the registration, you put them inside the access list and be sure that you have the authentication is checked. Now, what is the forwarding? Forwarding, you can leave it on, uh, also you can remove it. So forwarding is to allow the devices inside the same wireless LAN to communicate to each other. So if you have, for example, two phones connected to the same wireless, then they can be able to communicate to each other. But that's something which is not the part of the topic of today. So we only have to have authentication checked. Now, the second step that you need to do is to go to the wireless here interface on the WLAN one, and we have to go down and this one, the default authenticate, we have to uncheck it. What does it mean? That means that anyone who is not inside the access list that I have copied, if you try to connect to the wireless, then he will not be authenticated. Again, anyone who is not inside the access list that I have put there, the MAC addresses of the devices, and I have said that those can be authenticated. So anyone who is not in that list, then if you try to connect to the wireless, you will not be authenticated. And then I will say here, apply and OK. So now if I go back to my phone to see if my phone is still connected, let's have a look. And uh, I will open it again. So this is my phone. You can see that I'm still connected to my critic. And if I try to ping, I'm still able to go to the internet because this is inside the uh, access list, so it's white listed. Now, let me just connect my second phone to see if he's able to go to the internet on the Microtech SSID. So here is my second phone. I will go to the Microtech. And uh, you can see that, okay, I have to go back to here and try to connect again. So my critic, you can see it is connecting and then it says authentication error occur. And if you want, let me just make it forget. Maybe it had before the password and try to connect to it again now. So here we go. This is my critic, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I will say here, connect. Look what is gonna happen. It's trying to connect and then could not connect to the network. So excellent. So now you can see that the first phone, which is inside the access list, and if we go back to here, so we can see in the registration table, there is one phone, which is still there, which is the first phone, which is this one, I put it inside the access list. It is still connected because I can see it on the registration table, but anyone else who's trying now to go to the wireless, Sorry for him, he is not able to go to the internet. So this is all what I wanted to show you in uh, this uh, lecture. So that's something I really advise a lot of network engineers to apply because this feature is available on Microtech. Then in this case, you reduce the number of people who will be able to connect to the wireless. And then on the only whitelist, the uh, uh, devices that should be uh, connected to the wireless and then the, anyone else who's trying to connect is not able to. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this lecture. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up on this video and please share it to other people so they know about the work that I'm doing. And I hope to see you in some other videos. Thank you and bye-bye.